Eric Burgess here, and we have been given the following statement. A couple has three children, and then they ask us to find the probability of all these different scenarios. The, the probability that they're all boys, probability that they're all girls or all boys, exactly two boys or two girls, at least one child of each gender. So with this, it's not too many kids, it's only three. And so it's pretty easy to make a map of all the possible outcomes. And that map is going to be very helpful. So let's just say that we're starting at the beginning here, right? They have not had any kids yet. So here we are at the beginning, no kids yet. We're going to split into two possible outcomes. There's going to be the outcome that their first kid is a boy or that the first kid is a girl. After that, I'm going to switch to black here. After that, we split again, right? After your second kid. So here's your second kid. So given that the first kid was a boy, well, the next kid, it could be a boy or a girl. So it's a boy or a girl. And then the, this could also be a boy or a girl. It, it's not influenced by the fact that the first child was a boy. And then we do it again. We After our second kid, we have a third kid. So this is the first kid, this is the second kid, and here we're going to get the third child. So there's going to be, it could be a boy or a girl, a boy or a girl, a boy or a girl, a boy or a girl. And I recommend being consistent with which one you write uh, first because it's going to make some patterns appear. If you're inconsistent, it'll be a bit harder to uh, see some of the patterns. All right, so this is all the possible outcomes that could happen, right? So the first child could be a boy, and then we could have another boy, and then we could have another boy, right? It could be all boys, or we could have a boy, another boy, and then a girl. Or we could have a boy, a girl, and then a boy. So this, this by tracing out a path on this, we can find all the possible ways to have three children. So let's go ahead and now tackle part A. And now part A, right, are, is a probability. So remember, probability, we always have our sample space, and then we have a condition on top. And in this case, our condition is all boys. And so let's look at that. What is the one path that has all boys? Well, it's right here, boy, boy, boy. There's no other path that has boy, boy, boy. All the other paths have a girl somewhere in there. So the chance that you have all boys, well, there's only one of the possible paths that do that. What's our sample space? Well, that our sample space is all the possible paths. And so here at the very end, all our paths end. So we can just count these. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible paths. So there's eight. There's a one eighth chance you get all boys. And I should uh, say here, there's another way to do this. If you consider the children, Here's your first child. This spot is your first child spot. You could have a boy or girl. That's two possible outcomes. And then we're going to multiply that by our second spot. This is our second child, this line. And we could have two possible outcomes, a boy or a girl. And then for our third spot, we have two possible outcomes. And look at this, two times two times two, that's eight. And that's another way of deducing the sample space. It's because this two is the number of branches from every from every spot. So like, see, here's a spot and we branched into two pieces. And every single spot does this. Here's a spot branched into two pieces. It's the same thing as, as multiplying, how we can find our total number. So that's A. Let's go to B. So B says all, oh, it's kind of off the screen here. B says all girls or all boys. So we say, okay, all girls are all boys. Well, the all boys route we already found, that's this right here. And so the all girls routes, girl, girl, girls, right here. All the others have a boy or a girl somewhere. So that's two possible routes. So it's gonna be two over our sample space, which is eight. So that's pretty straightforward. Now we're gonna go for C. C says exactly two boys or two girls. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, it may behoove us to write these combinations out. So to do that, we simply just trace out every path we could go down. So we can go down the boy, boy, boy. So here we go. We've got boy, boy, boy. 
we've got boy boy girl so we've got boy boy girl we've got boy girl boy so boy girl boy and then we've got boy girl girl boy girl girl that's all the ones we can do for this top one then we've got girl boy boy so we've got girl boy boy girl boy girl girl boy girl and then girl girl boy girl girl boy and girl 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 and just to make sure we didn't miss any we just count how many we have right so we should have eight we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got them all. And all of these should be unique. You shouldn't have any repeating. If you have something repeating, uh, you made a mistake somewhere. So definitely check that. We can't have any repeats. And so C wanted exactly two boys or two girls. And so we just do the ones that have two boys or two girls. So here we've got two boys. So there's one, two boys, two girls, two boys, two girls, two girls. And then down here, it's three girls and three boys, so that won't work. So here, we've got six scenarios where out of the total eight, where we have exactly two boys or exactly two girls. So that's C. Oh, we'll circle that one. What the heck? We'll be daring. Now for part D, at least one child of each gender. Okay, well, at least one child of each gender. Well, let's think about that. At least means that there's got to be a girl and a boy in in the combination right because if we have all girls then we don't have at least one boy because we need at least one child of each gender so we need at least one boy and at least one girl and that will satisfy both the genders the third child can be a boy or a girl and so we say here okay well that's pretty much exactly the same as the probability we just had right because all the only two that we can't have are all boys or all girls and that's it and so we say okay that's six over eight just like the previous one because that is the chance that we have uh, at least one boy and at least one girl and that's how you do this if you are a citrus college student definitely feel free to swing by online tutoring for extra help subscribe and we'll catch you in the next problem.